Uh, Mr. Parker here to just kind of talk about the Zombie A-Hole Director's Cut. Not necessarily a review. I already did one uh, quite some time ago. Uh, also, I want to talk to you about the Dustin uh, Mills uh, mailing list. Um, I'm doing this because uh, the mailing list is really cool and uh, it's a lot of exclusives on here like the uh, Zombie A-Hole Director's Cut, the Puppet uh, Monster Massacre Blu-ray, and upcoming features Kill That Bitch and Ballad of Skinless Pete. Uh, the website is www.dmpstudios.com. Go ahead and join the mailing list if you want to get exclusives and stuff like that and actually get his new movies because I think they're going through his mailing list. Anyways, uh, I've reviewed uh, the old first edition that he had himself. Uh, MVD later released uh, it again. And uh, finally, the director's cut was released. Uh, my biggest complaint with the movie, I, I did enjoy it, but my biggest complaint with the original time was that it was too long for an independent feature. Uh, it started losing the steam, I thought, and it was uh, almost two hours long. It was 108 minutes. Now he cut it down to 90 minutes. I noticed a couple of the scenes missing were uh, with Voodoo Bob and stuff like that. There was some of that. The, the haggling was cut out. Uh, it still has the really cool scenes with the little puppet ghoulie thing. And this time around, I noticed some different things. I noticed that uh, actually more heartfelt. I was more attached to the characters this time around. The first time I really didn't care for some reason. I was more attached to the, uh, obviously, uh, Brandon Salkey and Josh Eel's characters there, and uh, Josh Eel and his character, uh, the bond between the sisters. That was actually emotional. And a lot of the times in horror movies, you're just like, I don't care if these people die, kill them off, man, you know? But I actually uh, kind of felt bad for them. But, uh, of course, this movie is about a demonic zombie who, uh, it's actually about a guy and he gets possessed. It's all twins in it. He has a twin brother. He, uh, gets possessed by a demon and he starts killing twins to gain psychic, uh, to get their psychic abilities, uh, their psychic power or whatever. Uh, it's up to his twin brother and Josh Shield to stop him. Uh, he, of course, died as a human and now he's back as this demonic monster type deal. And, uh, Brandon Selke plays the demon and the human and Josh Shield plays the main guy, uh, Fulci. I always thought that's cheesy when movies do that, but a lot of good movies do do it. Night of the Creeps does it. Uh, all, everybody has a last name. Dead Next Door. Tons of stuff does it. It's just kind of part of the horror genre. But anyways, uh, this one has some special features on there that the others don't. It has a commentary, and it also has a pop-up trivia, which I really enjoyed. It was actually pretty funny here. Some deleted scenes and stuff like that. But yeah, if you're interested, if you liked the movie, or if you thought the movie could have had a more potential, then uh, check out the Director's Cuts 90 Minutes. Of course, you have to probably join the mailing list to contact them, stuff like that. But anyways, I'm just here to kind of talk about uh, the mailing list and zombie uh, a-hole director's cut. Like I said, it's a uh, it's a pretty fun movie. It's like a grindhouse throwback. Has all the grit on the screen and stuff like that. Uh, for a 90-minute feature, it has a lot of nudity. And like I said beforehand, it's really intelligent that he uh, had the twin storyline because you only have one actress, you get two characters to kill off, and you get twice the amount of nudity. There's uh, quite a bit of nudity, like four or five different girls naked in here. I know that's a big selling point for a lot of people. Uh, the gore is, you know, uh, like kind of fun, cheap stuff, but it also is digital stuff here, and, you know, there's some cheap, like, props in here. He even makes fun of his own props at points in the movie, saying those look like Halloween decorations. Well, they are Halloween decorations, but, you know, his uh, style, everybody knows that he uh, gets the most he can for his uh, dollar, and it works very well. And uh, mixing digital with practical, he can make his movies look a lot bigger than what they cost but that zombie hill director's cut which is an improvement i believe on the others uh like i said i didn't notice too much cut out i did notice that uh the dustin mills uh, argument scene with him about the price was cut i thought that was actually a pretty funny scene and i believe a, a kill scene was cut as well but uh it is like the style of a comic book also in there, you know, the lady making a giant gun and stuff like that, and the, the metal, like, fist hand. So this movie's not to be taken seriously. This isn't in your typical world here. This isn't a world where, obviously, zombies are everywhere. So, uh, 
check out the mailing list. It's also the website. It tells all the upcoming things. And check out Zombie A-Hole Director's Cut or the MVD release if you're interested in the feature length. But thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Did you hear that? No. He's... He's... He's here.